Hello and welcome to the episode 163 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today, we have a robust intake of live appearances, including a triumph down under and a press conference. Let's begin with the 12th of June 1961 live at the Top 10 Club. The Beatles, featuring Pete Best on drums, had yet another performance for their ongoing second residence in Hamburg, West Germany. One year later, in 1962, the same lineup of the band returned to have a double feature at the Cavern Club in Liverpool with a two hour lunchtime gig and an evening performance supporting the Blue Jeans. Another live performance in 1963, this time with Ringo Starr on drums. On this date, the Beatles had a charity concert for the benefit of the National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children, NSPCC. The concert had been arranged in February 1963 by novelist Geoffrey Archer, then a student at Oxford University. For the occasion, the band performed for free. And let's close the live section of this podcast with the entry for the 12th of June 1964. In the morning, the Beatles flew to Adelaide, with Jimmy Nichols still subbing for Ringo on drums. About 200,000 people greeted the band from their landing to their arrival in the city centre, with 30,000 gathering at the city hall, where the Fabs met Adelaide's mayor, the council members and their families. Later on, John Lennon told the receptionist of the hotel, wherever we go, anywhere in the world, this reception which Adelaide has given us will stick in our memories. The band was followed by local DJ Bob Francis, who interviewed them a number of times throughout their stay in town for 5 AD radio. The evening concert at the Centennial Hall in Adelaide was the band's first in Australia, 50,000 people applied for the 12,000 tickets for the four performances, two on this date and two on the next day. Brian Epstein had arranged for the first of the two show tonight to be recorded for a radio broadcast. It was aired by 5DN Radio in Adelaide on the 15th of June, between 8.30 and 9.30 pm, and by other radio stations at different hours in other Australian cities. The recordings were put aside for a possible album release, but it all came to naught when the Beatles heard them and were allegedly unimpressed with the quality of the recording. It might be possible that they used that as an excuse not to release a live album with Nicole subbing for Ringo. By the way, if you want an excuse to support this podcast or my other music-related efforts, here's one. You can tell the world I told you to do so. You can share the episode with your friends, send me a donation via PayPal or any of the other things list on www.simonmas.com support. You might think you're just a drop in the ocean, but even a simple like or a comment do a lot for my morale and help me keep on going. Thank you for being fab and making the difference. Let's close the episode with a press conference held in 1965. It was old news after the beans had been spilled on the previous day, but it was the day that Buckingham Palace released an official note announcing that George Harrison, John Winston Lennon, James Paul McCartney and Richard Starkey were to be awarded membership of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire in the Queen's Birthday Honours list. This decision signaled the definitive acceptance of the Beatles by the British establishment, but it also engaged many of the previous recipients of the honour. An MBE, in fact, had been usually granted for heroic acts during the two world wars, not for playing pop music. The Fabs were a bit baffled by the enormity of the award, but decided to accept it nonetheless. By 1.30 pm, they appeared in a press conference at the Twickenham Film Studios, hosting 150 members of the world press. George, Paul and Ringo had been at the studio watching a rough edit of the Help film. John hadn't woken up and had to be fetched from his Weybridge home in order to attend the press conference. 
And so we can close another episode of this podcast. Tomorrow, Tommy Moore will come to the rescue of the Silver Beetles for one last time. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.